This video is sponsored by Rockland Flooring. Visit our website for more information. In the real estate industry, they say location, location, location. But in the fleet world, we can change that to application, application, application. Doesn't have a, quite the same ring to it, but you get what I mean. There's no part or component on the truck that isn't affected by where and how the truck will be used. And this should be the first thing on any fleet manager's mind when specking a new part. For our example today, let's go over some of the most important ways in which application affects steer axles. Industry experts will tell you that knowing your truck's application will help design the truck for proper load distribution and mitigate axle overload situations. The most important points for fleets to know before they begin the axle specking process include track width, beam drop, turn angle, maneuverability, weight, and whether the truck has disc brakes or drum brakes. To zero in on a specific example, many fleets will have to take the steer angle offered by their axles into account, as high angle capability is important for certain applications. Integration is always a focus when it comes to truck components, but this is especially true with steer axles, which work closely with the brakes and the tires. This means that when specking axles in each position, you need to be especially aware of what equipment will be used throughout the truck and how it all fits together. Steer axles need to be compatible with both drum brakes and disc brakes. This should come as no surprise. Air disc brakes have been on the rise for years, but drum brakes remain the standard in many trucks. One option that might be worth considering in certain applications is retreaded tires for the steer axle position. You just have to make sure you are using the highest quality retreads possible, as steer axle tires are subject to even more stress and road wear than any of the other tires on the truck. Vocational trucks, urban delivery trucks, and others that are back at the base every night and have the tires frequently inspected are good candidates for retreads on the steer axle position. The FMCSA's industry recommended practices for tire retreading and tire repairing says that in local service applications like those we just mentioned, the tire may be retreaded more than once. However, the document specifically bars a previously retreaded tire being used on a long haul truck in the steer axle position. This is a solution only available to urban, vocational, and other similar applications. For even more trucking and equipment content, head over to the Fleet Equipment site at fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.